Hi, this is Dr. Linda Davis, and today I want to work through Learning Tableau 10. I'm in Chapter 2, page 50, and we want to uh, combine uh, two data sources together to make a new data visualization. So if you'll start with Windows Explorer, where you've downloaded all your chapter sets, I want to go to Chapter 2, Starter, and I'm going to open that up. That's a, that's a Tableau file, so let me, let me double-click on that. And let me uh, maximize that view. And it says also to connect to Excel sheet in the Chapter 2 starter. So if you look at the sheets, because that's what it's saying, connect to the Excel sheet. Here's the sheets down here at the bottom. So you want to go down to the one that says connect to Excel and see what it tells you there. So go to connect to Excel, go there. On the caption, it says, follow the instructions in Chapter 2 for connecting to an Excel document. Once you've created the data source, return to this sheet and create any data visualization of your choosing uh, using the data source. So we're going to keep on with that one. And from the menu, we want to navigate to the, uh, and they're talking about the upper menu up here. They want to navigate to the uh, data selection on the menu, and we want to create a new data source so we're going to say new data source and then it says to select a Microsoft Excel and we will connect to a Microsoft Excel sheet and that's one of them that's in the chapter 2 sets that you see here uh, the one it wants us to select is the Superstore file so we'll click on Superstore open that up Now, once Tableau opens the Superstore file up, you will see two sheets in there. We have orders and returns, but they're two separate sheets now, and we want to uh, combine them. So that's what they want us to work on this time around. Now, we want to double-click the order sheet. So let me take my mouse over here to orders and double-click on that, and you'll see the order sheet appear. And then we're going to also double click on the returns sheet, which is right below it. So you see the return sheet there. Double click on that. And you'll notice some things change. So it's going to look very similar to what you see at the bottom of page 50. And it does uh, number quite a few items on page 50. So you can see all the names of the different parts and pieces of this uh, particular. Uh, view and you also see that it's taken orders and returns here and it's kind of show, showing us you know where they intersect at that they have some similar data and that's how it can kind of match up um, the columns and the rows to make it all work together and um, I'm gonna it does go through one through nine on the next page on 51 what all these parts and pieces are called but I'm going to skip over to page 52 and we're going to conclude this exercise with these following steps. Now we want to click on the data source name to edit the text and rename the data source as orders and returns. So right now it's called orders plus something and then superstore. And I'm just going to go in here and change it to um, orders and returns. Now because I already have one named that, I'm going to just put a two after that just for my own purposes here and it'll combine those two and give it, now it has its own name. Now we want to navigate uh, at the bottom tab and look for the connect to Excel sheet as I showed you earlier, this one. And this is the one where it says, hey, take your new union that you've created between those two sheets and let's create a profit by quarter uh, based on the orders and returns data source. And we're going to create a time series. So to do that, we want to um, go down to Profit, and Profit's going to be a measure. You should see Profit right there, so I'll just double click. Profit will come up initially like that, but time series. It wants us to show this in quarters, uh, Profit by quarter actually. So we need to have, um, I think I'm just going to use you know, the order date.
Now, it's by year right now, it's not by quarter. And, but I can go up here to order date and get the down arrow and look at all the different ways I can show this. But um, it wants quarter. Um, so I'm just gonna, there's a quarter there, but I'm gonna pick the quarter down here. And real quick, like it gives me that time series data by quarter. And I can kind of see where the highs and lows are for um, as far as um, profit by um, by when it all trans started transpiring. Okay, and that's what they mean. Um, and you can play around with different kinds of um, um, data visualizations with this, but that one's just good for right now. Okay. So that takes care of what we need to do between pages 50 and 52. Thank you for your time.